Hi friends! I am Jess, this is the Hexed Library, and today we're going to go over my setup for October in my new bullet journal. For those of you who don't know, I am, well, I've been planning for a long time, but I am fairly new to bullet journaling. I did it uh, several, several years ago, and I think I need a light here. Let's see what we can do about that. Much better. Light. Anyway, um, I was bullet journaling probably four or five years ago, but I was typically only using pen and paper in like the traditional bullet journaling method. But then I started doing happy planner. Actually, I started doing carpe diem planners and like A5-6 ring binders. And then I started doing happy planner and other disc bound planners. And now I have moved back into bullet journaling. It's been about four years and I have so much stuff, so much stuff. And I have been using it to make my own journal my own planner, if you will. Do you like my setup? Do you like my my jar of, of shinies and my candle and some randomly chosen uh, tarot cards just to make my desk look pretty? Um, you know, for the aesthetic of it all. Like, do you like my things? I'm gonna slide up a little bit. Legit though, like, let me know how you feel about it. So this is um, a journal from Amanda Rach Lee. I did a haul for like my, the stuff I just got for bullet journaling. Um, like the things I got when I was starting new. Um, I'll link that down below. I also will be doing a haul of some Halloween related stuff that I just got in from Archer and Olive because I have a problem now. Um, I mean, I had a problem before, but I really have a problem now. Uh, <laughs> so yes, that, that's coming. And what else? What else? I will try to link as much stuff below as I can, um, the different stickers and things that I used. Some things I've had for so long, I have no idea where they came from. That's just the nature of the beast when you are um, someone who does paper planning and paper crafting. So again, this be her, she be a queen. That's a Merlin. Anyway, um, so typically when you open up your journal, your first page will be like a this belongs to or this journal belongs to. And I covered mine up because I am crazy. And I put in the sticker for my new branding for my channel, which is the Hex Library. Welcome. Um, so I got two logos. I got this style with the name straight across the bottom. And then we'll see the other one later um, in here as well. I am extremely happy with it. Uh, hello, this is the first full video with new branding things. Um, feel free to let me know how you feel about uh, intros, outros, all that fun stuff. Because it's all new. Well, new-ish. New adjacent. Anyway, so I covered up the this journal belongs to with this pretty purple paper that I thought, you know, complemented my logo, which I just printed out on some photo paper. And I believe this is from like a photo pack from Michaels or something. I mean, who knows? Not me. So I decided that I'm going to start this in October. I do have something that I have a vellum that I think I'm going to put over this, but I haven't technically hauled that vellum yet. So that might be a later thing. Um, this is like a piece of cut out from like scrapbooking paper. These stickers are from Planning with Kay. Uh, this sticker is also from Planning with Kay. I will link her down below. A lot of the stickers that I used in this are from her. Uh, and then just a purple background. I wish I had rounded these edges, but I didn't. Regrets. I have them. Anyway, next page. Uh, our next page is our calendar for the month. Um, again, I probably will never do like a full plan with me where I like show you how I do all of these things because I've tried those in the past and it's just not fun for me. Um, I like to just, I, I jump around a lot and I like to do things over multiple days and it's just, it, it really is impractical to film them. And a lot of it too is because I typically am watching, I like to watch other people plan while I, while I plan. So I'm sure you guys get that. But I think, you know, walking you through what I ended up doing is just as fun and it might give you just as many ideas as actually showing you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um, I think the majority of these stickers are from, I don't even know, probably a happy planner sticker book. 
Could be. I don't know. This is from the Planning with Kay. These are from Planning with Kay. This is just washi tape where I stuck in, um, like, long events. You know, live in the dream. Uh, our next page is for the October Worldwide Write-A-Thon. So this is where we get into the reasons why I wanted to go to bullet journaling because I really was interested in getting all of my things together in one planner and or in one space if you will and so like typically my write-a-thon setup would be in my writing planner instead of in here where I actually want to look at it so this makes so much more sense um so my write-a-thon I've already got the schedule in here with all of um, the dates times the type of sprints that it is sprints that it is uh, and who the host is and then I have a key at the bottom um, some of these I'll be on screen for um, like my own for instance and then some that I'm co-hosting on um, I will also be a um, moderator actually technically a monitor don't know why I wrote moderator on there but I either way I will be a monitor on some which is just basically um, I kind of keep an eye on live chats and make sure that people aren't being asshats um, and I probably will have to work that weekend because I always have to work during the ride -a uh, so I block out the time that I have to be at work. And uh, these are my prep tasks and my goals for the write-a-thon. Um, stickers. Where are the stickers from? These are from Happy Planner, for sure. This is washi tape from the washi shop. Washi tape shop? Yeah, something like that. This is one of my favorite spreads. Um, I'm so excited about this. So again, before my... Um, my reading planner stuff would have been in my reading planner, but I want it with my actual stuff. So this is my 31 books of Halloween spread. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I try to read and always fail reading 31 books in October, typically spooky books, but not necessarily because sometimes I'll read things just because it's what I want to read. But I try to read 31 spooky books in October a spooky book for every spooky day. Uh, I never make it. I think the most I've ever gotten to is like 21, uh, which is still fantastic in a month. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I typically keep track of like new releases and my arcs for the next month, my TBR, my haul, etc. So what I did was I set up my banner at the top, 31 books of Halloween, and then some washi tape from, I don't remember who that washi, who that is from. It's not planning with K. It's the other one that I buy things from. I can't think of who it is right now, but I will link them down below. Um, these stickers are from planning with K on the sides here and the skull and the broom and all that. So I did new releases and November arcs. And then I did my TBR as a Dutch door in the middle. So I have the rereads that I plan to do anything that is a physical or ebook. And then the backside is anything that I have an audiobook for. I think I have about 50 books on here because again, even though I want to read 31 books, I know I'm not going to get there, but I also am a mood reader. So I'll just pick from these like what I'm in the mood for. And then at the end of the month, I'll have my three favorites for the month and then my book haul on the back here. And I fucking love this. I think it is so awesome. Like I'm very happy with how like I made the side pages and then I love like the black tape on this guy I'm so happy with this like you just don't even understand how fucking happy I am with this I'm impressed by myself uh our next page is my YouTube schedule I don't know why I made this giant calendar like this I could just do like the small calendar where you don't do the boxes it's too late I already did it so these will this will be where I will keep track of my videos for October and then like my checkoffs of like if books are pulled, if it's scripted, links, filmed, reviewed, ed edited, all that fun stuff. I had some issues with the highlighting of this, um, but that's the first time I've ever done it. So not terrible for the first time. I, my, I used the ruler and apparently the ruler had blank ink on it from where I had been inking in the lines and it just transferred when I was doing the highlighter. Don't know why it doesn't transfer when you're doing more ink. But it transfers when you're doing highlighter. So that's a whole other thing for a whole other day. Also in October, I will be on vacation for the first week. I will be at Written in the Mitten, which is hosted by Wallace. Um, I don't know if like, I know that you know most of the people who we're going on the trip with, but I have Wallace's sister's name on here and I don't know if the world is supposed to know Wallace's sister's name. So I'm just covering that up. Okay. 
Um, Wallace gave us like a mock schedule that was like what we could expect our days to be like. So I went ahead and like wrote out the schedule to put in here. I need to write in what my goals are going to be. And then behind this is the travel and flight info. So I am driving, but I am picking up Kate on my way um, because airports are weird trying to get to where we're going. Um, so I'm picking up Kate on my way. So I have like her flight info so that I can like make sure her flight's on time, all that jazz in case I can't get a hold of her. I can keep an eye on where she's at. Obviously don't want the whole internet to know Kate's travel plans because that would be weird. Um, so I just made like a little card and taped it down and it actually pretty easy pops up, but just so it's there in case I need it. Then we're going to get to my weekly planning. I did something very similar to what I did for my reading planning and I'm very excited about it. Well, bam. Um, I am absolutely in love with this. So I have, I mean, it's, it's pretty basic over here, Saturday and Sunday, day one and day two. Um, my side is all actually washi from the washi tape shop. And like these big ones are the ones that are um, washy, but are also stickers that they come off. But all the little ones I hand cut out um, from actual washi tape. Uh, you know, it honestly, it didn't take as long to cut them out as I thought it would. But let me tell you, getting the backing off of them was a nightmare. Um, but it looks awesome. So like totally worth it. I got this idea from um, Jess at Jashi Curran, who I talked about a lot in my original Bujo haul because I get a lot of my ideas and things from her. So um, I will link these down below. Um, I really want to try acrylographs, but they are super expensive. Um, so I just bought like some cheaper acrylic pens off of Amazon because Jeff Bezos owns my life but just to try them out and see if I like them so that is what I colored the tabs with for the weeks um, again these two boxes are just pretty basic I mean Saturday is going to be a travel day I'm probably not going to have much to put in there I don't know what we're doing on Sunday couldn't tell you but you know so this is week one and I think this is going to work good for what this week is. Um, again, because I will be at the retreat this entire weekend. I'll be traveling back on Saturday, I think. And so one thing that I had in my happy planner was I had a box that had my YouTube schedule on it where I could write in, you know, what my plans were for the week. And I put it on here and then I really decided that I don't think I need it with having this over here. I think this is too much. I don't think I'm going to need this every week. So I have a task and I have these small boxes for like any kind of major events and I have that and I decided I wanted to change it for the next week. So for the next couple of weeks, I have a box for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yada, yada, yada. Um, these again are from Planning with Kay. I have this same, if you're like, yes, I have a lot of the same stickers because I think I've bought like seven or eight copies of this specific um planner set up. I have this one and then there's another one that is books and plants and coffee mug. I have bought literally bought like 10 of those. I have a lot of them because um, I have a problem. So uh, and then the third week, similar vibe, same place the stickers are from. Um, the fourth week, similar. Um, should I have done all these at once? Probably not. I don't know if I'm going to like what I've done. Um, but for this month, because I had already cut everything out, I was like, you know, if you don't like anything this month, you can try again next month. It'll be fine. And then on the back here, I have a spot to write any important November dates because I, you know, don't have November planned yet. So I don't know where I would put them. So November dates, any notes or reminders that I want. And then a brain dump spot. Um, mostly because I didn't know what else to put there. Um, also a spot for birthdays and important dates at the front here. So that was it. Let's do a quick through for you. Boom. We open. We open October. We've got a calendar for the whole month. Then we've got the write-a-thon page, which I love these trees. They are awesome. I'm so glad there's two of those stickers because I love them. Then we've got, boom, my favorite page, 31 Books of Halloween with my TBR on a Dutch door. And then um vacation youtube schedule and then my weeklies yeah look at that 
Live in the dream in a dream world. That's it, y'all. That's it for me. That's all I got. Okay. Again, excuse you. Again, let me know in the comments below how you guys are liking like the new channel stuff. And if you are at all even interested in this Bujo stuff or if I am slowly killing you. Uh, am I going to stop posting Bujo stuff if you tell me you hate it? No, uh, but I may do less of it. I'm doing a lot of it right now because I haven't been doing a lot of reading. I think I've read two books this month. I did DNF like six arcs over the weekend though, so we're definitely going to be talking about those soon. My next video, I don't know if it will be my Halloween haul or if it will be my arc vlog. Um my arc wrap up but it'll be one of the two those will be my two videos for next week either way don't know which one's coming first haven't filmed either of them so who knows uh not me again i have been jess thank you for joining me in my mess uh i hope you had a fun time at the hex library and i hope you come back that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!